speaking only once a year because number one, uh, I'm not crazy about speaking. Number two, which is the greatest of them, is that I have so, so, so many um, wonderful missionaries that can carry on the work and I don't have to do anything but sit on Sunday and look, praise God, and just say and just do. I am a mother and I can truly say that I would probably say of myself as Deborah the judge or as Abigail. So you think about that. And you may know in which way I'm going, but you may not. But I am rest, I'm in a rest, I'm in a tussle right now to go with what I have prepared for tonight. Or I am struggling. So pray, pray for me. Having said that, I am a mother. And I consider myself to be my personality, to be that of Deborah or Abigail, meaning that I am somewhat of a take charge person. Praise God. And usually when God speaks to me, and since it's once a year, I'm coming to you as a mother, praise God, and as the leader over the women's department. And I'm gonna give you the word, let's go to Jeremiah 6 and 16. It's gonna seem kinda old and outdated, but I've been wrestling with it. And because the service was so high, I wanted to go another way. But when you get it, say amen. amen. Praise God. And if I should happen to do like sometimes we do when we sing a song, start on a song, and we mess up, and we switch to another song, be patient with me. Jeremiah 6 and 16 says, Thus said the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old path. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. I would like to take this time to say Happy New Year to Great Open Door and to all of God's children that are listening by way of internet. I am so thankful for the G.O.D. family that you all have been so wonderful uh, to Pastor Harden and I. For all the gifts that you've given, for all the love that you have given because you couldn't have get, did it without love. For all the things that you do for us, most of the time, um, well, I won't say most of the time, but a lot of time it is undercover, meaning that you're not seeking anything from us other than you want to be a blessing to us. And I want to say thank, thank, thank you because you have. For I realize it is God's grace. I thank God for keeping me and letting me see a new year. For I realize it is God's grace and his mercy that I am standing before you. As always, I pray that I will say something that will encourage and strengthen you to stand strong in your convictions toward God and his, con and his assignment for your life, knowing that he is able to keep that which you commit unto him. I also want to just step back and regress a little bit to say I thank God for my children being here, uh, for, all, for most of my children being here tonight. I thank God for them. 
thank God for my uh, son and my, my son-in-laws being here as well. As I have said, we have gone through many things on last year, many, many, many struggles. Some of you know of the struggles, and the church is going through struggles even now. But I say unto us, be not dismayed, for there will be times, times and things that are hard and difficult to endure. Nevertheless, endure them as good soldiers. Looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, who endured the cross that we might have the right to the tree of life and his manifold blessings. The subject that I chose for tonight, and I pray that you will get something out of it, is search for the old path when you find it. Walk therein. We are living in a day where the old ways are not even mentioned. And if mentioned, it will be in a negative manner. The old ways are seen as things that have no relevance for this time and for this age because it is believed to be too narrow, too strict, or some would say outdated. Matthew 7 and 13 says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate that lead to destruction, and many there be which go in there at. But straight is the way, and it's narrow, that re leads to righteousness and salvation. And that way is narrow. Yeah. Jesus said that there are not many travelers on this straight way, on this road. Yeah. But this is the right road to take. Amen. Yeah. It is the right road to take. On our way home from Sunday night services, my husband and I often listen to the radio. Time and time again, we hear questions from the on-air host and the audience implying Asking questions regarding the church relevant, if the church is relevant, if it's effective, if it has worth or of importance. And it's kind of sad that we have gotten to that point that the world is thinking that the church is outdated, it's, it's irrelevant to this time. Even in our Bible study, we have talked about this question and answered it as well. I am somewhat baffled or befuddled at even the thought. So for this cause, I want, to look, want us to look back at the old path that has brought us this far by faith. We have come this far by faith, trusting in God. It has not been on our own understanding, but the uh, Proverbs Solomon says, in all our ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct our path. You see, without God directing us, we may be on a road going to nowhere, just running around in circles, just like the children of Israel did when they wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. And I wondered 